Hey guys, Friday, November the 26th. I just want to give you a little I, a little example of how I do business. This is just a small piece. Um, uh, excuse me, I have a couple of marketing or target areas that I work. And since about December of last year, I've sent out at this one area in particular, I think about 2,500 postcards once a month. And all the postcard says is uh, it's got a picture of a house and that, you know, if you want some more information, visit this website or call this 800 number with an extension. And I have, you know, 10... 800 numbers and probably 10 or 12 different websites that I use so that I can track what's going on where. Um, so back in, in earlier, halfway through the year, about June, I get a reply uh, from a, a couple and they want some information. And with the package that I put together, it's got, you know, it's a market report. There's a newsletter. There's a little bit about me and what I do and how I do it. Um, it's got six different testimonials with pictures of people at uh, properties that I've sold. Uh, what houses are selling for now? what houses have sold for, and I, you know, I get into detail there. Statistics graphs, about three bucks for a stamp alone, so it's a pretty good report. So I, I, actually yesterday I get this email from a, a couple and they say, uh, and, oh, it was, and, be, and once a month after that, once, once you know, you give me your contact information, I send you out a package. I keep in touch with them, usually every couple weeks I'll, I'll email a market report and once a month I'll send out another you know, a newsletter, just let you know what's going on. Um, a lot of people find a lot of value in it. They really enjoy what I have. So I get this, and he says, you can remove us from your list. I was impressed with your strategy to sell homes. However, our house has been listed for six months, and you have not brought a single potential buyer through. We were thinking about relisting with you, but your lack of showings was the deciding factor in not going with you. So I'm reading this, and I'm going, how can you be upset with me when I have absolutely no vested interest in your property, I'm not the listing agent. You should be having this discussion with your agent. Or you should have called me to get the job done, right? So I understood where this is coming from, and it's coming from a place, you know, at the time, maybe a little anger, a little fear, you know, upset. Um, so my original response, I actually, I do this, right? I'll write a response, get it out of my head, and I'll read it 10 times, and then get rid of it, and then start all over. Right, so what I, my response back to this person was, so, you're wondering why I didn't sell your home when it was listed with another company? Please let me answer that for you. Maybe you're wondering that because you don't know that while your home was for sale, I was fulfilling the promises that I made to the people who hired me to get their home sold. I know that you wanted to get your home sold while it was listed, and while your home was listed with blank, nine homes have been sold in your area in the past 15 days, five of those over $200,000. That's their price range. It would have been nice if yours was one of them, wouldn't it? I'm not saying we ignored your home, but with 22 active listings in your neighborhood right now, I focus on my own listings and my own clients. You shouldn't be as concerned about my lack of showings in a property that I have no vested interest in as you should be with whom listed property. Let's talk about what's important about selling your home to you. And then I go on to say, I realize that you're upset with that whomever decided I realize that you're upset that whomever you decided to list with was unable to sell your home, so I'll continue to send you the same value, valuable information that you have been receiving from me. If you are impressed with what I've been sending you, I know you'll be impressed with my marketing strategy to get home sold quickly and for top dollar. It works. Then I go on to say, if you're still actively for sale with someone else, because I don't know, it's not my intention to solicit those already under contract, but I don't want to be rude and not reply to your concerns, right? So... I, I, I just found this funny, a, a listing that I just picked up two weeks ago, same thing. I think she was in contact with me in April. For some reason, went and listed with another agent, didn't have their property sell, called me uh, two, well, just, just about 15, 16 days ago, and um, I went through, we did the room-by-room room review, we've got the property up, I'm expecting an offer very, very soon. I've got a, another sh a showing again tonight, but I've got to go get set up. My clients are actually in Jamaica, having a great time. Um, so my, what I want to do is, is have this place sold before they get home. Um, when I go in on a listing presentation, I'm looking for certain qualities and from my clients uh, or my potential clients. And it's not just about the house and uh, the pr pricing and location. I, 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 it, there has to be a bond there. there has to be, I, I want to have to work with you and I really need you to have to want to work with me, right? So. Um, that's why when I go, my intention to sell, when I, when I take a listing is to get the property sold within 30 days. And I, there's tons of people out there that, you know, they'll take whatever you want and pop a sign on the lawn. And then they, you know, they're the ones that should be getting emails like this from their clients, not me. Now I can understand because you've seen all this, they're, they're seeing the stuff that I'm sending them 
they're not getting any value from what their own realtors are giving them. So they've got to be upset with them, but somebody, and you know what, luckily I've got big shoulders and I can take the hit and I'm sure that if the property doesn't sell this time, that I will be picking up another valued client that really wants to get their home sold and not just have somebody put a sign on the lawn and an ad newspaper. So yeah, a little bit about how I do business. Um, again, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, uh, you know, visit me on Facebook, give me a response or whatever like that, or give me an email at alex at sweethomes, ala, gurchin.com, A-L-A-G-U-R-C-H-I-N, oh, dot com. Friday, November 26th, we'll talk to you. Thanks, guys. Oh, here.